Joe Biden tonight accepted the Democratic nomination for President of the United States. The former Vice President made history by accepting the nomination at a virtual convention. Here's the watch party outside of the Chase Center in Biden's home state of Delaware. Crowd there had a chance to watch on a giant screen as Biden accepted it. Pat Kessler had a chance to watch as well. He was doing it from his home this evening. So, Pat, uh, virtual or not, he's the guy, and here we go. Yeah, very unconventional convention this year. Biden accepts his party's nomination after 50 years in public life, but he's accepting it against the backdrop of a country in chaos, this dangerous pandemic, a cratering economy, coast-to-coast -coast racial unrest, and he's blaming President Trump. The current president has cloaked American darkness for much too long. Too much anger, too much fear, too much division. I'll be an ally of the light, not the darkness. It's time for us, for we the people, to come together. And make no mistake, united we can and will overcome this season of darkness in America. Biden said Americans have a choice in this election between chaos and anger or hope and healing, outlining a national plan to fight COVID-19, making the case for firing Trump and hiring Biden. This is our mission. May history be able to say that the end of this chapter of American darkness began here tonight as love and hope and light join in the battle for the soul of the nation. And this is a battle we will win and we'll do it together. Was beamed and broadcast across the country, of course. Outside the convention center, the campaign set up that huge television monitor and a socially distanced drive-in movie theater to watch it. So that's the celebration in this pandemic 2020, I guess. Unlike 2016, though, with Hillary Clinton, I think the Democrats are leaving this virtual convention. They appear to be united. And part of that is because they weren't all in the same room, I think. Uh, Biden is the candidate. But the message, I believe, from this week is that this campaign is all about President Trump. Biden's the candidate, but they're going to go after President Trump. The president's behavior and his job performance, particularly on the coronavirus. That's what we have coming here as the Republicans begin to meet in their convention next week. Yeah, and we have more on that right now. Pat, thank you. Tonight on Twitter, President Donald Trump responded to Biden's attacks and his agenda, writing, in 47 years, Joe did none of the things of which he now speaks. He will never change just words. Earlier today, the president made a campaign stop in Old Forge, Pennsylvania, near Biden's hometown. A crowd of supporters greeted the president. He accused Biden of being a puppet of the radical left movement. Stay with WCCO 4 News for continuing coverage as the Republican National Convention starts next week.